Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this brief tutorial, I'm going to navigate through the simple step-by-step -step process of setting up and using a Pinterest business account. I'm also going to share marketing tips that you can engage in to grow your small business on Pinterest. Okay, so just quickly before we dive into Pinterest, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and get your business up and running with a Pinterest business account. Okay, so first let's go ahead and create a Pinterest business account. In order to do this, simply head over to your browser and type in business.pinterest.com or search for Pinterest business account on Google. Then what we want to do is navigate down and click on create account. Now, why is it important to create a business account rather than using a personal Pinterest account? Well, the business account is free, similar to a personal Pinterest account, but gives you more extensive features and analytics, as well as access to paid advertising. It's also important that you create a Pinterest business account rather than a personal account if you're planning to engage in commercial activities. Many of our creative small business clients actually use Pinterest to drive the majority of traffic to their website. And the result is more leads and ultimately more sales. Okay, so navigate up here and add your business email, add a password, your date of birth, and then navigate down and click on create account. Then under profile name, go ahead and add your business or brand name. Then go ahead and add your business or brand logo. Here's the logo that I want to use. Then go ahead and add your website if you have one. Because remember, what we can do is use the platform Pinterest to drive traffic to our website. Think about Pinterest as a unique search engine or search platform similar to Google. However, unlike Google, which uses website links, Pinterest is a search engine for images and videos. And Pinterest gives you the opportunity to create and post images and videos on your Pinterest account in order to grow your brand on Pinterest and drive traffic to your website. Then come down and add your business country. This business is based in New Zealand and then select the language and come down and click on next. Then navigate up to what's the focus of your brand. I'm going to navigate down and click on education. Then pick up to three that represent the goals that you want to achieve with Pinterest. I'm going to navigate over to sell more products, generate more leads to your business and drive traffic to your site. Then once you've selected up to three of these options, simply navigate down and click on next. Then here you want to describe your business to Pinterest by adding the correct option here. This will also give you customized recommendations based on the details that you add. So I'm going to navigate down and click on online retail or marketplace. Once you've selected the appropriate option, go ahead and click on next. Select the platform that you use to sell products. If you've selected the goal of wanting to sell more products, I'm going to navigate down and click on next. Here, Pinterest is going to ask if you're interested in running ads on Pinterest. I'm going to navigate down and click on I'm not sure yet, and then come down and click on next. And just like that, we've created our account. Now, Pinterest is going to give us these three options. What we're going to do is exit out of this. And first, what we want to do to properly set up our Pinterest business account is claim our website. If you currently do not have one, then don't worry about this step. What we're going to do is navigate over to this drop down and then click on settings. Then navigate over to claimed accounts. Simply go ahead and click on claim. Then here you have three options for claiming your website. I recommend using add text record. And to do this, all you need to do is log into your domain host, edit your DNS settings, and then add a text record. And all you need to do is add this information here, this text snippet here. It's as simple as that. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out of this and then navigate over to account management. This is where you can further customize your account information. I'm going to navigate over to edit profile and down here, what we want to do is add information about our business. We want to add a brief description about our business. Now you want to make sure that you add relevant keywords into your about section, and this is going to help optimize your profile for search. Then come down to username. And this is where you want to ideally add your business name, your brand name, then add your business email address. Then navigate down and add your country code and phone number. If you have a retail location, go ahead and select this and add your business address details down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And if you get this message up here, username already taken, then what we need to do is add a variation of this username. 
So I've made a slight change to my username to see if this username is taken. I'm gonna navigate down and click on save. Okay, so as you can see, my profile has been saved. Then navigate over to profile visibility. And here you can choose to make your profile private. And you can also choose to hide your profile and boards from search engines. You might wanna do this if you're still working on your account and you're not ready to publish your account live or if your business is yet to launch. Okay, so let's navigate over to our profile and that's gonna take us here. Now what we wanna do is optimize our profile for search and discoverability as well as for branding. To do that, let's go ahead and add a cover photo. I'm going to use this image and click on open and then done. Next, what we're gonna do is navigate down and click on find ideas. And this is where we can save public pins to our profile. This will give Pinterest an idea of what our account is about by adding relevant pins. This is important at the beginning as you start creating your own pins and boards. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate down and add a few relevant pins. So here's a pin I want to save. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Then here we want to create a board. Now boards are a collection of pins that are focused on a specific topic or idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and add small business motivation and then click on create. I'm going to add a few more pins to this board. Here's another one. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and then select the board that I just created. Here's another pin that I like. I can save this to a new board or an existing board. I can also navigate down here and click on the link destination. That's gonna take me to the website connected to this pin. I can also click here and send this pin on Pinterest or I can share across social media and via email. Then we have these three dots. I can hide this pin, stop seeing pins from this profile, download the image and report pin. So what I'm gonna do is navigate up here and click on save and that's gonna save that pin to this board. Now let's navigate back over to my profile. And if we navigate down here, you can see our saved boards and pins. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. If I click on this board, now remember Pinterest is a search engine. People are searching for keywords related to the images and videos that they want to find. So here you'd add a board cover, then make sure that your name has a keyword that you want to target, and then add a description about this board again that has keywords that you want to target. These are keywords that your audience is typing in on Pinterest that you want this board to show up for. You can also come down and add collaborators. Keep this board secret if you don't want this to be publicly displayed on Pinterest. And then you can keep this option selected, personalization, show pins inspired by this board in your home feed. Then you can also delete this board. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and click on done. However, with each of the boards that you create, you want to optimize those boards for Pinterest search. Next, what we can do is navigate up to create. And we have two options. We can create an idea pin or we can create a normal pin. Now, if we click on create pin, and that's gonna allow us to create an image or video pin that also has a destination link that links to our website. So this type of pin is important for driving traffic to your website. Now, if we navigate back over to create and then click on create idea pin, this type of pin allows you to grow your brand, to grow your profile on Pinterest. Rather than sending a visitor or a Pinterest user over to your website, this will allow people to follow your profile. And these types of pins are important for new accounts that want to increase their discoverability and exposure and ultimately grow their brand and start building up their followers. So essentially what you wanna do is create a combination of idea pins as well as normal pins. Again, idea pins are important for discoverability on Pinterest, important for new accounts, and then normal pins are important for driving traffic to a website page. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on create pin and then add a video. I'm going to add this video and click on open, then add a title, then a description. And remember, you want to add keywords in your title and description. Now, what you can also do is you can take your meta description from your blog post or page on your website and you can copy and paste that in here. Down here, you want to add an alt text. My primary keyword is Google Tasks. So that is my alt text. 
And then down here we can add tags. Think about tags relevant to this pin. I'm going to add business management and then other relevant tags. Then down here, I want to add the destination link. Then down here, we can choose a cover image. I'm happy with this. We can also upload a cover image. We can choose to post this pin immediately or we can publish at a later date. Then navigate up to the top and make sure that you have the correct board selected or you can create a new board. I'm going to create a new board and this is going to be called Small Business Tips. Then come down and click on Create. And when you're ready to publish your new pin, simply go ahead and click on Publish. Now we can also navigate over to the left hand side and we can simultaneously create a new pin. So you can work on multiple pins at the same time. However, I'm going to navigate over here, click on this pin and this pin here, and then delete these pins and then click on delete. Okay. So I'm happy with this pin that I've created and optimized. I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. And just like that, our first pin is created in our business account. I'm going to navigate up here and click on exit and then exit out of this and then navigate back over to our profile. If we navigate down and click on created, you can see we have our first pin over here. Now, if we navigate back up to the top and click on analytics, we can come down and view important analytics about our account. And these business analytics, you do not have access with a personal Pinterest account. If we navigate up to the top right hand corner and click on ads, we can also engage in paid advertising on Pinterest. However, I'll talk more about creating ads in Pinterest in another tutorial. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this Pinterest business account tutorial. I've showed you how to set up a Pinterest business account, create pins and boards, as well as how to optimize your pins and boards for discoverability on Pinterest as a search engine. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Pinterest business account tutorial. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.